What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Today, we're unboxing and getting a close-up look at the brand new Cartooned Series 1. There's a total of eight cars included in this set. Plus, there are some chase cars that you can find, and they're going for some crazy values on eBay right now. And the way that you can define it being a chase car is if you look on the base of the car, it will be red. So all the ones that I have are unfortunately not chases. They're just the black base ones right here. But if you find one with the red base, they are very, very collectible, very valuable, and they are the chase cars for the set. So watch out for those. Our first car though is the 64 Chevy Impala, car number one of eight. And you can see the artwork on all of these cards are very, very nice. And it looks like we have all Chevys for our first series. And this is a low rider Impala. Let's open it and see what it's all about. So first thing first is holding it in hand, it feels very nice quality. It's got some weight to it, which I feel like is really nice. It makes it feel like it's good quality. The tires on these are real rubber, real riders on there. So it's more of a premium material all around, which it is. And the base on there, you can see. So we've got the metal base on there as well. And it looks like they make it quite easy to customize because you can unscrew it with just like a Phillips head screwdriver if you get it in there for these screws that are inside. So that's interesting to note as well. This one being that low router, you can see it's got those low router wheels, great paint work on there as well. We got cartoons written on the back. Look at the sparkle metallic paint that you can see just shining in my lights. Nice Impala lights in the back, very, very classic. And then we got that big chrome grill on the front of it right there. So, so far this one is looking really nice. Car number two of eight is the 57 Chevy Bel Air and this this one is black with the flamed paint job on there. You can see that looking real nice in that packaging. Let's open it. And there we have it. So this one has a matte finish paint job in black on there. Cartoon written on the back, of course, the chrome bumpers. And then just check out the paint on the side of it. Look at that flame job on there. And it says big time hustler on there as well, which is pretty neat. Front grille we have in chrome and then the nice big chrome wheels on there. And just check out the big slicks on the back. So if we flip this over, so these ones, I'm just trying to see, yeah, these ones are, I think they are rubber still. They they are like big slick rubbers. So they're, they're not shredded, which is interesting. It's different from the Impella. So they make them nice big slicks on there. You can see the skinny wheel tire combination on the back as well as obviously we do have it where you can unscrew the base if you want very, very easily. But I think that one looks pretty neat with the flames on the side of it. Car number three of eight is the 69 Chevy Camaro. This one in a nice gloss red color. Let's open it. Check that one out. It's just shimmering in my lights. A very high gloss red color on this one. Love the wheels on this one as well. They looking so good. They suit it very, very nicely. You can see the nice detail on the back of those lights, the exhaust coming out right there, that chrome bumper, the classic Camaro stripe that goes down the center of it as well. And then on the front end, we have that nice grill right there. Great detail on that one right there. I mean, this is supposed to look like the tuned out car and it really, really does. They've done a great job at kind of the dimensions of it being a tuned car. And let's have a look at those tires right there. There's the nice treaded real riders on the back of this one, a little bit bigger ones than the previous cars we saw for the front tread, but still looking really, really good. Great premium feel. Again, that nice weighted feel to all of these cars, which is really cool. Car number four of eight is the 47 Chevy Fleet Line. Not my favorite car itself, but the paint on this one is definitely something unique. Let's open it and see. And there it is. Check out the sparkle in this paint job. Just absolutely crazy detail for paint on this one. Very, very nice. You can see that sparkle in my lights right there. Then we got that kind of closed wheel line in the back, which is uh, classic to this car in real life. The nice kind of mesh wheels right there that we have big front grill on there, kind of squished and tuned out on the front end right there, which is really neat as well. And then, it, I mean, just, just the paint job on this one just, looks so good and I can't stop looking at it sparkle in the lights right there. The real riders on here, they are the tiny ones as you can see right there. So the tiny mesh kind of low rider style wheel tire combination on it. But yeah, I mean, like I said, not my favorite casting itself, but 
paint wise, I really do like this one. Car number five of eight is the 56 Chevy Nomad. This one all low ridered up with some gold all around. Let's have a look. So a lot of people in the short form video that I posted of these thought that this was a chase car because of the gold wheels on there and the gold trim all around, but it is not the chase car for the set. Chase cars do have that red base on there. So that's how you tell this one. You can see it has that black base. Really like the detail though of the gold axles right there, which is pretty neat. Look at that gold front grille. This one is also that metallic sparkle paint job. Not as nice as the fleet line, but still looking pretty good and all the graphics that they have on the side of it. And just look at those wheels. Those wheels look so good in the gold, gold all around. I mean, I can see why people mistake this as a chase car just because of that gold trim. It's so nicely detailed on there, but it is just a mainline car for this set and it's definitely worth picking up on this one. Car number six of eight is the 87 Chevy C10. This one, great looking paint job on here. Let's open it. And there we have it and check out the paint. Even on this one, a really nice metallic paint job on here looking really, really good. The flame job on there. These wheels are just perfectly suited for this truck right there. Nice and clean on the back cartoon logo, of course. And on that side, you can see that flame job continue with like the yellow on the front, which goes into like an orange flame right down the side of it. We look at the base, we got those big rear tires on there in real riders of course and the smaller ones up at the front very very nice looking chrome for that grill chrome for that bumper this truck looks pretty neat i really like this truck this one actually i have to put this one up there as one of my favorites from this eight car series car number seven of eight is the 63 chevy corvette and this one the split window let's open it so what a great Corvette to make into a cartoons car with the split window. That's the 1963 Corvette. And then it has come back now for the new Corvette ZR1. But this one, it's a great looking yellow color on here. The striping looks really good. I love these wheel arches too. It really gives it good character for this car. You can see the nice blacked out wheels with the chrome lip on there. Kind of like the Krager mags in real life, which is really neat. Got those rear Corvette lights as you can see. See the bumper trim on there as well, and the bumper trim in black on the front. Cartoon logo is on the front window this time, which is unique. And just overall, really, really nice looking. You can see those big rear rider slicks on the bottom right there. And I mean, I must say, I, I, I like this kind of like cross T shape that they've done for the base and the way they have the wheel stick in there. And it just, it looks perfectly symmetrical, which kind of like, I don't know, it just looks good. I just like that symmetric system that they've used right there. But overall, the Corvette, you guys know I'm a big Corvette fan, so gotta love this one in the cartoon series. Car number eight of eight is the 69 Chevy K5 Blazer in a nice orange color. Let's open it and check this one out. A low rider K5 Blazer, metallic orange paint job on there. We've got that nice kind of graphic down the side of it. These chrome wheels on there, chrome on the front, big front windshield on there. And they don't have cartoon written on the front. They've left it for the back, of course, as most of them have it in the back besides that Corvette, but looking really, really nice. It's kind of a clean look all around. You don't really see anything until you see like that side kind of striping, but I think this one would be a cool one to customize. If you're into customizing, this would be a nice one to unscrew the base right there and then throw some customization on. And you can see those real riders, the treaded real rider base and the treaded real rider on the front right there. Your classic T-shaped kind of base on there again, but just an overall, the K5 Blazer, definitely a good one for the set. Good addition to it for eight of eight. And here are all eight cars from the Cartooned Series 1. I'm definitely going to be collecting more of these in the future. I can't wait to see what future ones of these are coming out, but they are definitely cool. Check them out at your local stores right now.